All right, guys, if you're part of the maker group on Fridays, we've been trying to formalize things uh, and have a specific set of things that we're working on or experiments that we're working on. So some people are working on PLCs and HMIs. Others have been interested in uh, Arduinos and Raspberry Pis. Uh, and so we've been able to purchase uh, the SunFounder um, Arduino package. And so I'll give I'll put the link in the uh, description. So this will be for use in the lab. Uh, we're not taking these guys home. But if you are interested in, in purchasing one of these guys, uh, then I will put the link to SunFounder uh, in the comment section and then you can put an order in and then you can work on it at home and then you can also have a set of components at, uh, at the, in the class that you can work on on Fridays. Um, it is, uh, let's see, SunFounder is made in, uh, in China. Uh, so there is the website www.sunfounder.com. Um, and so if we open this guy up, this one that we've purchased is uh, the, well, the ISO is blown up. Hang on, sorry, guys. Um, the, uh, the RFID kit version two for Arduino. So this is the, uh, the package or the, the instruction manual that comes with it. It's awesome. It shows you all your different components um, within, the, uh, within the unit. So it gives you a pictorial of every different unit and tells you exactly uh, what it's for and how it's going to be used. And then if you, uh, if you scroll through, it gives you some basics on it and then tells you how to, um, download the Arduino, Ardu can't speak today, Arduino IDE. Uh, and then the first lab here, so it actually has labs in here, lesson number one, controlling an LED by the button. So the next uh, video that I'll do, or, or at the back end of this one, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this, but uh, one of the videos in the playlist will be uh, this lesson. So what I'll do is I'll go through each of these lessons and do a quick video on each of them. Uh, and we will supplement this to uh, Paul McWhorter's uh, playlist. So we're basically going off of Paul's stuff. He's got an amazing playlist walking us through the Arduino IDE um, and all the different uh, components. But this one has everything, got seven segment displays, uh, motors, all different types of uh, potentiometers and sensors. Um, and it's got, I don't know if you can make it out on the camera, some great pictures uh, on here. And online, if you go down to sumfounder.com, I'll put that link as well. There is a page that mimics uh, everything that we see here. So it's got all the fritzing, fritzing diagrams and everything. I'm really impressed with, uh, with this package. So. That's your manual that you're going to be going off of. Uh, that in addition to the playlist that I will have this added to. Uh, and in the actual box, ta-da, is, um, let's show this first. So let's get some light on this situation. Uh, so this one is a um, is made by SunFounder. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in it just a touch. So it's not an Arduino Uno, it is a SunFounder Uno, but essentially it's the, uh, it's the same thing. Uh, so I think it's a little bit, I might think it's a little bit smaller than the, uh, the Uno, but it has all the exact components that uh, the Arduino Uno has, all the exact same inputs and outputs as well. Um, and they provide you with this uh, plexiglass that you can mount on so that you might just be able to make, make out there are plastic uh, bolts here that we can bolt that guy on. And then if you want to, you can put a small uh, breadboard right here. So in the, in the unit, so that's your, your actual board. You, there's no need to purchase another board. It comes uh, with basically an Arduino Uno. And inside your package here, I can never remember how to open this, by the way. Oh, she's already open, donkey. <clears throat> so in there, there's a, a sticker and it provides you with uh, all of your resistor colors. So what I want you to do is uh, peel off the, the back of that and then just stick it right here so you can have that as a reference all the way through. So let's grab some of these components here and uh, and have a look at what's inside the box. So we'll take everything out and then we'll go through each thing uh, slowly and methodically here. Whew! There's a lot of components in this uh, in this unit and I'll show you why I like, uh, like it. So a uh, nice carrying case. Uh, everything fits in there nicely. Uh, it doesn't seem like anything is going to get broken. So let's start off with, uh, with leads. So there are a number of leads in there. Uh, so you have all your jumpers there. They have your standard uh, male jumpers here, but we also have these guys with the, the quick connects. So they have quick connect couplings uh, in there as well. Can we zoom in? Come on, Pete. There we go. Uh, so in addition to your standard 
jumpers, you have these guys, which is awesome. Uh, and a lot of the components that are already uh, set out, so you just use this connector to connect up to all of your sensors. So I'll show you that it's awesome. You don't have to solder anything. Everything's already comes pre-made and you just have to use those guys to connect up to them. Okay, so we have, again, the Arduino Uno. We have our jumpers that we just saw before. Uh, in addition to that, um, there is uh, this guy right here. So we can use that to control some of our circuits. So um, it, what is this? This is just like for controlling your, uh, your MP3 player, but you can use this uh, somehow to tie into your Arduino Uno. Haven't figured out how that works uh, yet. Um, you have a connector to connect up uh, to a battery. So that's your connector for your 9 volt battery if needed. We're going to mo mostly be doing stuff off of the, uh, the USB cable. Um, what else is there? Let's just open this guy up and see everything. There are a number of uh, resistors here. So there's a bag of resistors. Uh, you may want to separate those resistors and put them into separate baggies and label out uh, your different resistance values, but it comes with a number of resistors, which you're gonna need for the LEDs. So it comes with yellow, green, and red LEDs, and there's a plethora of, of those in there. So there's lots to get lots, lots of projects done. Uh, in addition to that, what else do we got? We got a, uh, a relay here. So everything comes in these nice little baggies here. Uh, what I would do is I would keep them in there just to keep the terminals from getting broken off and everything. Uh, there is a relay here. Let's see the, the values here. So zero to, was it five volt uh, relay? So five volt control. And it looks like it's actually good for, wow, 10 amps at uh, 250 volts or 10 amps at 120 volts. So we can use this guy to simulate any of our home automation. And look at the connections. There's the connections right there to go to uh, those breakout cables. Uh, so there's nothing to solder on these guys. It's already done for us. And so you can just quickly connect up and no need for a soldering gun or anything like that. So no need for header pins. They've already, it's already been done for us already. So everything's awesome. And the quality of the, the soldering is phenomenal. Like I'm really impressed with this, uh, this unit. So we've got, um, a relay. We've got uh, some push buttons here. So let's open this baggie up right here. So in this guy, there is probably some a bunch of sensors in here. Uh, so it looks like uh, capacitors and check out these push buttons. These are awesome. Usually you get those, uh, those small push buttons. So these are great tactile uh, push buttons that we can use in each of our projects there. Um, what else is there? That must be a piezo that I don't know what that is actually. Um, so this bad boy right here, which I'm not sure what it is. Um, and it looks like we have some um, sensors here for uh, for light sensors here. So uh, those are all contained in the same uh, same baggie. So I'll put those guys to the side. There's a, there's a couple motors in here as well. So it comes with a, uh, a servo motor. So we've got a servo motor there. I just zoom in here. There we go. So now we can actually see what we're looking at. Uh, so servo motor. Um, what else have we got? There is a, uh, a stepper motor as well, maybe. And is there a DC motor in here? No. So those are the extent of our, uh, our motors. Aside from that, we have uh, a potentiometer here. I should have taken all these guys out of the, the baggies before I started. So a bunch of motors. Uh, potentiometer that we can make use of. Let's put that to the side. And let's take a look at uh, all of our sensors. So again, all of them have the, uh, the breakout cable connection right there. Zoom in, there we go. Okay, so this guy right here is a, uh, a sound sensor. Okay, so it's got the little microphone on the front there and everything's already set up for you. I bet you there's already uh, stuff on GitHub for all of these guys to work. I bet you all the code is already uh, set out. So you don't have to worry about like grabbing something from this from this unit and then not being able to uh, to get her work. This is a, an IR receiver. So an infrared uh, receiver. 
Okay, what else do we got? There's so much in this uh, in this package. It's phenomenal. I wish I had gotten this one uh, as my first package, learning about uh, Arduino. So we've got an RGB uh, LED connected up. Again, all of these have the quick connect coupling on the side there. Okay, next one. So what I want you to do when you get your uh, your package is to open it up and take a look at everything. Uh, not sure what this is. RTC, resistance, uh, some type of temperature uh, detector there. Not sure exactly uh, which one it is. I think it's a th temperature detector. So we'll have to see what that guy is. Um, what else? There is an RFID tag um, and there should be something that, uh, that goes with it. So I can't get this bad boy open uh, at the moment, but uh, this guy and this go to uh, go together. So it's an RFID tag that we can make use of, which is really cool. Uh, we have a, uh, a display. I'll keep it in the, uh, in the bag for now, but it's got a display with all the, uh, all the header pins already connected up. So that's mint because you don't have to buy header pins. It's already ready to use right out of the box. A um, couple more, actually there's so much more, hang on, um, it's like Christmas. <clears throat> so this guy is what, this is a, uh, a vibration switch. So you can see there's a little coil in there, so a vibration switch that we can make use of. Beauty. Next one is a, a water sensor. So this is a, looks like a resistive water sensor here. Okay. Oh, cool. There's a joystick in here as well. So we're hoping to make use of this and get into uh, like controlling the servos and everything. So uh, there's the, the handle and come on, buddy. There we go. So this guy just goes on there and now we've got uh, a joystick to make use of as well. So it's got all kinds of movement. Awesome. Phenomenal. So we've now got a joystick that we can make use of. Okay, a couple more components here, guys. So what I want you to do is just take a look. You can actually just look in the bot in the actual manual, and it shows you everything that's in there. Uh, buzzer. So that thing that I grabbed earlier uh, was a buzzer. Okay. This one looks like a humidity detector. Beautiful. So humidity sensor as well. Okay, a couple more and then we're done. But phenomenal, hey, this is all just in uh, in one package. So this is gonna keep you busy for weeks or months. Uh, there we go, There, uh, that was a stepper motor because there's our stepper motor driver there. Right on with our quick connect uh, cable connection. Okay, so that guy, so these, got, these two are gonna go uh, together. Okay, then as an addition to that, it's got uh, seven segment uh, displays and an LED matrix. And look at all this. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so um, it's got a bunch of, uh, it's got an LED matrix, seven segment displays, a four seven segment display. Uh, and then I believe these guys are, uh, are shift registers. I think, can't make out the, uh, the label on that guy, but I believe that guy is a shift register that we can make use of for those bad boys. And there should be a lab for that in the manual. Uh, USB cable to connect up to uh, our computer. And all the computers, if you're working on this in the lab, all the computers will already have the Arduino ID on there. So there's the same image on all the computers now. And uh, finally, we have uh, a flame sensor that we can make use of. Cool. Okay. Oh, and uh, I missed one more thing. Uh, it looks like there is, how do you open these bad boys? Should have brought some uh, scissors. I don't know if you can just make this out. There you go. So you can just see through the the plastic there. Um, that it's got all these awesome push buttons. So these this uh, array of push buttons here, um, and so we can make use of this for uh, for different uh, motions, right? Or we can create uh, some games uh, through the IDE, and then use these guys to control each portion of uh, of the game that we that we create. Awesome, eh? So. There is so much in this package. Like, look at all. Oh, so many things, right? Like, that's just insane amount of uh, things to keep us busy. And uh, we've got the manual that comes th comes with it. 
So we should have a good a good course now. I mean, we're building up to a course, um, but we should have like enough labs in here to keep us busy. Plus, we'll have uh, the playlist that I'll add this to, uh, and we'll slowly go through Paul's uh, videos and uh, and slowly learn the Arduino IDE, get ourselves to a point where we know, uh, build ourselves up to where we know how to control that stepper motor. I think that's a, a large stepping stone to uh, to get to. And then once we've done that, then we can get into some robotics that are controlled by the Arduino. And uh, once we have a good handle on the Arduino, then we'll move towards using the Raspberry Pi. Once we have a good understanding of the Raspberry Pi, then we'll start incorporating the Node Red, um, and then uh, then be ready to get a job. All right. So hopefully uh, this was a, a good video to walk you through all the different components. Um, if this uh, if you're not uh, in my class yet, then you should sign up for Maker Fridays, where we're making use of all these guys. We're trying to get all of these components uh, and finding a way to incorporate them into our our standard curriculum. So that each time you come back to trade school, in addition to what we're doing in the labs, you also have these additional labs for building up so that hopefully we can do some, some temperature labs uh, and then, you know, LEDs for basic, you know, um, controlling that seven segment display. Using the shift register would be interesting uh, to learn before we get into uh, the PLCs. So a lot of this is going to give us a good understanding of the background of inputs, outputs, um, you know, discrete inputs, analog inputs, analog outputs, um, and then that shift register and everything and controlling of the, the motors as well. And then that'll tie into everything that we're doing with the, uh, the Siemens PLC. All right, guys, check out the next video on the playlist. Next video, uh, we'll go through uh, the hardware of the Arduino. And you can just pick or choose whether you're watching my video or Paul's, but I follow on along with each of Paul's uh, videos because his are the best. All right, we'll see you on the next video.